This is the lock mat sky. Does not support twist your wrist to see the time, so you have to hit the button to turn it on. It does indeed have a SIM capability, and I've got a 4G T-Mobile SIM in here. However, I have not been able to get it to make or receive phone calls. Also supports Bluetooth, but only in as much as it can tether earbuds to this watch because it has an onboard music player. You have phone contacts and messaging related to the SIM does not Bluetooth tether to um, a phone at all. You have a camera on the side, low resolution, two megapixels or so, can take pictures and videos with no limit to the videos, except maximum is about two and a half gigabytes of storage for everything, which is about an hour and a half of straight shooting of video. Low audio on it, but it does work. You got your clock for setting alarms and basic settings. You got a pedometer that's just going to give you your daily step count. No, uh, no sensors on this one for heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, uh, sleep apnea, ECG, EKG, none of that. None of that. Just step count. The SIM card is in the place where all the sensors would be. You have running, swimming, and basketball. That's it for sports. No GPS. You do have an SOS long push on this button. Should ring a phone number that you program into it, and that would get you SOS connection if you have a SIM card that will work in your area. Um, you have the music player, as I mentioned, and you have onboard music, nice and loud. It's a ruggedized watch. It's got different colors. This is the camo, a really awesome clasp. Lock mat on the, on the band, non-removable bands. Sturdy son of a gun. It's thick, it's nice, it's beautiful and bright. You can easily see it outdoors. It's called the Lock Mat Sky. Check it out.